Have you ever found yourself being searching for the solution of your own life? Well, yeah, I have. I've once been wandering around and around and asking myself, where I'm actually heading to in this life? What I actually desire, who I really want to be. And questions kept spinning in my head. And when it came to the time when I had to decide which career is most suitable for me, I found myself standing right in front of the office with a question: Should I open this door of career or not? Yeah, well, I hesitated for a while. And questions continue on. When I knew how important friends are in my life and how much I appreciate friendship, I began to question myself again: how to keep these smiles forever. Then I fell into an unexpected situation that even more dramatic than I had thought. Paris went on and on. What does it all happen to me? What I should do to stop these endless fighting in my family? Was I wrong from the beginning when I said two words? I do in the church. If you think you are now getting stuck in these personal problems like I was, just stop asking for help from psychiatrist or counselor because I'm gonna show you a tool to open the solution of your happy life, the normal personality. This is a book by psychology professor Stephen Rays, who introduces to you a new way of thinking about people, which is more tolerant, more humane. I'll give you five good reasons to read this book. First, it's absolutely close to your daily life. Second, his writing style is super simple, concrete, and understandable. Third. It provides a good explanation for who you really are and what underlies your behavior, what can motivate you in life. It also refers to how to resolve your personal problems, and the final reason is it helps you to understand people and how to improve couples' compatibility. At the end of the book, don't forget to check the race motivation profile. It is a questionnaire that tells everything about yourself. Just take it in mind. Very strong as well as very weak, basic desires can dominate a person's life to the point of defining the individual's personality.